Hello, welcome back to Little House in the Big Woods. Today I'm back here in my grow room and I'm showing you some progress and also some stuff that I need to do so to get my um, seeds in a better better place. Okay, so some of the stuff that I've already done I have transplanted some tomatoes into these solo cups because they were getting quite large and together in their little their cups they got so you think you could see they're not growing too bad in here and I usually have them in a space that has better light crossed over there but I've got still I got my peppers growing and here's some onions and these tomato plants must have uh, this was the one I took the tomatoes out of, but they're still growing pretty good in there, so I just left them. And then I've got there, I, I transplanted some cilantro, but I think that I need to move them again in the light because I separated them out, and you can tell they didn't get too happy about it. Some of them are not looking very good at all. And then I need to separate these as well because they're pretty tight in there. They still, I could probably give them a little bit, but again, a little bit leggy, so it might be time to separate them. This is celery, and these are um, eggplants. Um, I'm really happy to see this because um, in the past, I've planted eggplants, but they have never come up where I did plant them or they didn't succeed very well so hoping eggplants do better and and um, some of I gotta show you this because some of my potting soil I have some mold spots so I would have do have seeds popping up in it but I don't like to see the mold either or you know it's compost so it is um, some, you know, I'll get mushrooms in here. Let's see, this one here has mushrooms. Look at this nasty stuff in there from that compost. I think it's because I got it too wet. But here is some kale that I need to cut down. I repotted it, and it's acting real happy right now. And here is some onions that I've sprouted, some broccolis. And there's the beans that I got. Um, there's some chives in this one. And I have the sunflower that I started. And here are some peas. More happy tomatoes. <laughs> and this is tot soy that I need to transplant because it's already sprouted and it's happy but it needs to go someplace else. Um, in this container, there were some spices that I planted, but I also planted a cucumber with it, and look what happened. The cucumber's finally starting to come up. So, um, let's see, we got some more spices over here and some more tomatoes. This is a basil here, more chives, tomatoes, more cilantro, um, that sage, more tomatoes over there, and the last one over there, look how good this, this is a cuca, um, our Mexican sour gorkin, cuca, our melon, so, um, no, it's not a melon. It's a cucumber. So, um, down here today, I um, transplanted some more plants because they were not happy and they were getting a little bit leggy. And also, I had a mouse trying to be happy and nibble on them. So, I took them today. They won't stay here, but I did buy these bins because they are broccoli and so a little bit more cold hardy. And here's the broccoli. They are leggy. They don't look happy, but I did just transplant them and put some more down in the a lower one over there. 
So we'll see what they look like. Um, my goal is to, excuse me. My goal is to uh, get them outside. Um, we still do have colder nights, but I wanted to put them outside during the day in these totes because, you know, it'll keep the chipmunks out of them, the chickens out of them, so um, it will uh, keep the mice out of them too. So, oh, I forgot to show you these tomatoes. <laughs> they were all happy. And these are... Um, uh, cabbages and yeah, what else I think there's a couple of cabbages anyways but uh, I just wanted to bring you back for an update and maybe if there's somebody else that don't have space right now but maybe wants to grow something in a smaller area um, get some of these clear totes so you can put them outside and they can be covered. You can, um, excuse me, you can store them in a, um, you know, put them outside, bring them back in during the day so they don't take up as much space. Um, you can just do a mini garden in them if you needed to because they do have you know, they're quite big. Um, I would fill it with more soil than I have. Um, I have seen other channels flip a soil bag, probably like a 20 pound bag, over with a little bit bigger tote and use that as a mini greenhouse. And so they would put the soil on top of the lid on the bottom and then after they've seeded it, turn the tote over put it on top and then they um, use that. I've seen people use um, swimming pools. Um, I have a half barrel that's outside and I seeded my broccoli in there um, a couple of years ago in my greenhouse at our house we had before. But um, yeah, as you can see, oh, I got some dahlias. I planted in this one. Yeah, don't mind my mess here. But anyways, so um, got quite a bit growing on. As you can see, I need to transplant those two over there and get more. I've saved a lot of milk jugs to try to plant some outside too in those milk jugs and um, make those mini greenhouses in there. Um, I am hoping to build my greenhouse this week, um, just one of those cattle panel greenhouses, and so I can put my, some of my cold hardy plants in there. Um, we're still having temperatures in the, um, in the 30s. We haven't frosted in a few, probably a couple weeks. But that doesn't mean we won't. Um, our area is known to frost all year long and get cold. So um, we will get some grow more grow on here. So I hope you're getting your grow on too. Um, I was going to show you guys this too. Um, my dad gave me this. He didn't need it anymore. But what I wanted to do is put like um, some peat moss or something in there and use it as a flower place or even as just to um, put red solo cups in there <laughs> just to get more sun up there but I need to replace this shelf or this table with a shelf so that I have um, more space but because a lot of these plants I'm surprised they're coming up with as yucky as the soil is with these peppers here and there's a couple others that are coming up that still have yuckiness. Um, they're coming up, so we're still going to give them a chance and see how things go. And hopefully these broccolis come up better. Um, I have a lot of broccoli, a lot of cabbage. 
What I'm hoping to do is just plant what I can, where I can. Anything extra will, um, I got plenty of neighbors around. Um, like I said, I really want to do a, a farm stand and plant or grow things for people that may not have a chance to grow. So, everybody needs to be getting their grow on and I hope you are. So anyways. I hope you're having a great day, and um, wherever you're at, you can um, have some joy. <laughs> Anyways, I also wanted to uh, share a little bit about my shirt. Um, my son is autistic, so I like helping support um awareness autistic awareness so um, it's always been something important to me to um, help little children understand that it, you don't have to be afraid for people that are different you know there's all kinds of differences in everybody but sometimes I see such fear in children's eyes when they see my son in the things that he does because he's not like everybody else so whenever I see a child peeking over at me or my son I ask are you scared do you have any questions I don't want them to be afraid of him and I want them to know that it's okay to ask questions if you do see somebody different not to be afraid or be you know think that it's something to be um, bullied on. So anyways, if you have somebody that uh, is different and I hope you can share with me maybe how you help uh, other little children understand because this is something that's been important to me. So my shirt says, in a world where you you can be anything be kind <laughs> so um let's just you know i just want to i guess you know pass on some happiness and you know not every day everything is happy but if we have one another to lean on and help us through hard times then somebody's gonna have a good day somebody's gonna have a bad day but in the end we got somebody to pick us up and say okay we're you know we got a friend so you got a friend in me everybody friend in me okay so anyways thank you for coming by little house in the big woods and again here is a shot of my this is my little girl she's gonna go out in my my garden I use for memorial garden for my my babies that are no longer with me so anyways that will be another video so anyways I hope everybody's getting their grow on and you're having a wonderful day and you have a wonderful week or whatever you're having so yeah, as you could look, that snow's already gone out there. See that? Now it's time to clean up out there all those branches and books. And uh, the kids cut wood. My husband cut wood. And there's bark everywhere out there. And the children, or the chickens, are having a great time out there. <laughs> so.